Quintavious and Quanchantivia, I said, planted in a seat. And uh, 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 uh. S-H-A-Q-U-A-T-I-T-A. Miss Peabody, you know my name. Girl, if you don't get on my face and go have a seat, and don't get mad at me. Get mad at your mama for giving you that name. I ain't had nothing to do with it. So what's wrong with the world today? Parents around here giving these children all these names they can't even pronounce, trying to make them sound African. Name don't even sound African. Sound just like where they from. Old National Highway, right down yonder by College Park. Do the spanky leg, do the spanky leg. If you wide up, why me do the spanky leg? Do it, spank, spank, do it, spank, do it, do it. Spank. Um, excuse me, Peabody, I'm so late, but I forgot my pass too. Oh, um, uh, Michelle? Mm -mm, no, nah, that can't be. I know it ain't. Michael? God. You must be on them doggone hormone pills. You come in here one day looking like Michelle, and the next day you're coming in here looking like some old dude. Talking about dude, dude, stanky, stanky, leg, whatever it is. You look stanky. Walking around here now, who, who clothes you got on your brothers? I want you to stand up straight, girl. Hold your head up and act like a young woman should. Do you understand me? And I want you to prance your tail over there to your seat. Don't you ever come in here like that again. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, I tell you, I promise you these children got to be confused. I call them a bunch of poses. They don't know what they want to be, a girl or a boy. <laughs> no, my mom and dad didn't play that back in my day. Let me twist it up. I want to know, why were you all out of, your, out of your seats acting like a bunch of hooligans from Wild Kingdom anyway? Oh, me, me, oh, oh, What's me, that? Me, ooh, 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 me, 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 acting like a darn monkey. <laughs> but I want to know why were you out of your seats? Who, who, who the hell had the hand raised? Go, go ahead, Casey Deal. You think it's Miss Peabody, Peabody, her name is Katarina. I'm not talking to you, first of all. Go ahead, Quesadilla. You think it's ir a baño. You think it's ir a baño. You think it's ir a baño. Hey, what you call me? Miss Peabody. She needs to go to the bathroom. Well, excuse me, but uh, I thought that that girl was calling me one of them ir baños. My bad. I'm sorry. Sorry. Well, go to the bathroom, girl. Get out of my classroom. You think you'll get a baño. You think you'll get a baño. Hey, who? You don't mind me asking who? Who you supposed to be? Who is you? Dad, who is you? Pudding Tang. Pudding Tang? Yeah, ask me again and I'll tell you the same. You know what? I got your Pudding Tang. Your Pudding Tang gonna be in under school suspension. You keep on sassing me, gal. Better shut your mouth up here with all them doggone colors on. <laughs> got time for this mess. Now, I wanna know, why are you all up and out of your seats? When I just left this classroom, I couldn't have been gone no more than four, five minutes. And I come back in here to all of this. Mm-mm. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. <laughs> now, who? I want to know why you out of your seat. Somebody better tell me. Somebody better tell me now. You know what? Put your hand down. Let me tell you something. I had a teacher named Miss Crockett back in the day. And Miss Crockett did not play. She did not play no that mess, baby, all that jumping around. Now, when we would do things that we weren't supposed to do, like you clowns was doing a few minutes ago, it wasn't no time, my baby. Mm-mm, none of that, honey. Miss Crockett had a friend, not of one, not of two, not of three, but four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rulers. All wrapped into one big gigantic of a ruler. I mean a Superman ruler. Watch me, you! <laughs> Y'all didn't think I knew that, though, did you? I know you didn't. And when it was your turn, you had to line up in a single file line. And then she'd tell you to put your hand out. Put your hand out, girl. 
she take that little low ruler and she go bam, bam, bam. Don't you run from me, girl. <laughs> now I want all you crumb snatchers to know that I also have a little friend. And it's right on over there in that gold box. Can you? <sighs> Go on over there and get me that duck gold box. Don't waste no time, baby. Here you go, this is me, Get out of my face. Get a lie. Y'all see this in a box? Uh-uh, don't, I don't need you to come out of here. I got this, baby, I got this. I'm gonna sit you right over here. I want you to be calm. Yeah, I got them, okay. Uh, 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 oh, uh, uh, stay right there. I also have my little friend, and it resides in that box right there. And I will ask my little friend to come up out of this box, and the spirit of Miss Crockett will come all up out of me. Oh, glory, 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 glory. <sighs> Crumb snatches, a little visit. Do you understand me? Yes, yes Miss Peabody. Good. Now I want to know who in this classroom? Why, 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 why were you? Why were y'all these seats? Yeah, Kayla. Well, some of us are in the Peach County Schools talent show. And we were just practicing. <laughs> practicing, huh? Well then, a talent show, eh? Well, if you're in this talent show, raise your hand. All right, Delon. Would you like to show us what you plan to do? Yes. Well, come on in. I ain't got all that bar. I got to teach so I can get y'all to pass this CRC take test. <laughs> I can show you the world Shining, shimmering, splendid Tell me, princess, now when did you last <laughs> let your heart decide? I can open your eyes Take you wonder by wonder Over sideways and under on a magic carpet ride a whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no, or where to go. Hey. Oh, no. <coughs> I tell you where you can go. <laughs> you might not want to hear it, but I tell you where you can go. What you do, that boy? You get on that, that magic carpet of yours and sail your tail right on over to your seat. Get on out my face. I'm gonna magic carpet in a whole new world. <laughs> Come on in, Quesadilla. Me amo Catarina. Go what you call my mama. <laughs> you done talked about me the first time. Now you come in here talking about my mama. You better get up my face and sit down before I call immigration on you. <laughs> Have you deported? <laughs> Bet you understand that day English, don't you? Yeah. No, what's wrong, these children? Ain't nobody running Claudine's classroom, not Dustin Ham. <laughs> Is anybody else in this classroom in this here talent show? Okay, Brianna. First of all, my name is not Brianna. It's Jada. Oh my God! Well, excuse me, uh, Jada. <laughs> Would you like to show us what you plan to do? Yes, I will. I'm going to sing. Well, I hope this darn song ain't going to have no cussing words here, because ain't nobody going to be cussing in Peabody's class but me. <laughs> no, Miss Peabody, it does not have any bad words. Good. Do your thing, girl. <laughs> At first I was afraid, I was petrified. Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side And then I spent so many nights Thinking how you did me wrong Then I grew strong And I learned how to get along And so you're back From my face I just 
walked in to find you here with that sad look upon your face. Should've changed that stupid lock. I should've made you leave your key. If I'd known for just one second, you'd be back to bother me. Oh, now go. Uh, walk out the door. Just turn around now, cause you're not welcome anymore. I want you the one that tried to hurt me with goodbye. Did you think I crumble? Did you think I lay down and die? Oh, I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. I've got all my life to live. I've got all my love to give. I will survive. I will survive. All right then, you go on on over there to your seat, gal. Woo woo! He about to got some talented kids in her class. <laughs> I'd be against the law. Okay, is there anybody else in this classroom? In this here talent show? Excuse me, Miss Peabody. Miss Holly told me to get this. Miss Peabody, shut! You better shut up, Holly, in my classroom. You raise your hand, and I will tell you when to speak. Okay? Okay. Now this what you girl, got to say? This girl's in the talent show too. Okay. <laughs> girl, you're in the talent show? Yes, ma'am. Would you like to show us what you plan to do? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, go right ahead, Aunt Chai. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Is that the name of your song? No, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, well, same then. Don't you sass me, gal. <laughs> just this one time. From here on out, I want you guys to act, and girls, I want you to act like you know you should. And I want you to get what I'm saying. Do you get it? Well. Do you get it? Da -da -da. Do you get it? Hallelujah. <laughs> Do you get it?
Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Peabody. Okay, everyone, let's stand for the pledge. Miss Peabody, I can't stand for no pledge. Why, boy? Is something the matter with your legs? No, nah, it just against my belief. And what belief is that? That religion shouldn't be taught in no school. But shut up, ain't nobody teaching no religion. We just standing to say the pledge. Yeah, but you say under God when you say the pledge. And you wanna know what? I'm gonna keep saying under God. And maybe you should too. It might help you bring your grade up from an F to a D. But no, you so smart. You seem to know everything, huh, huh? Yeah, that's what's wrong with the world today. Took God out the school system, and the schools is in shambles all across America. Tell you what they need to do. They need to bring God back into the school. And maybe he just might give us some solutions to what's going on, to, our, to what's going on with all these here problems. Now, first of all, I can't say God, but I can talk to you about that witchcraft, Harry the Pot. Uh-huh, yeah. Let me tell you something, boy. You not gonna run my classroom. And if you don't wanna say the pledge, then you don't have to. You just keep your little hump right there in that seat while we say it. You understand me? Class? Yes, Miss Peabody. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, class. Now, let's recite the rules for Miss Peabody's class. Let's go! Rule number one, no fussing or fighting. Rule number two, no food fights or rioting. Rule number three, we must be neat. Rule number four, no trash on my floors. Rule number five, no breaking lines. Rule number six, no throwing sticks. Rule number seven, never be a rebel. Rule number eight, you better not come to my class late. Rule number nine, always be kind. Rule number 10, do your homework and turn it in. <laughs> well, today, our great American hero or role model is Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Paul Lawrence Dunbar was born in 1872. He was the first African-American to become a poet, a playwright, and to have his work published in the paper that was owned by Orville and Wilbur, Wilbur Wright. Now, I would like for you to tell me who remembers who the Wright brothers were. Okay, Quantavius. They invented and flew the first airplane. Super! I'm glad you remembered. Might want to take notes, little boy, taking a nap in my class. Okay, tonight your assignment is to write something new on Paul Lawrence Dunbar. It should not be anything that we have just discussed. Only new material. Does everyone understand? Yes. yes. This no. Assignment? I'm gonna say this again. Does everyone understand this assignment? Yes. No. <laughs> what is it that you don't understand, Siobhan? I don't understand. We gotta do the same thing every night. <laughs> Let me tell you something, little boy. It's not the same thing every night. It's the same, it's, and it's, it's supposed to be the same thing every night. You need to learn to articulate, okay? Yeah, no you don't know what that means, but anyway. <laughs> That's the word of the day. Now, I want
want you to understand that when I give you all these assignments, it's to make things interesting for you. That's why I give it to you and you write on a different person each day, not the same person. Well, it ain't. Look. Well, it ain't what? It ain't interesting. It ain't interesting. Look, I don't even know none of these people. We live in 2009. I want to learn about people like Tufo Mob, Dick Dolph, Q Pain, 25 Cent, people like that. What Paul Lawrence Dunbar or whatever his name is got to do with me coming up in this rapping game? Now, peep this. Hey, 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 24 7, 365, air day and air night. I'm a pimp in this eye, and I keep my, and I keep my, and I keep my, and I keep my whole hole in your chest. If you say what I thought you was about to say in my doggone classroom, boy, now you check this. Hey, hey. Hey, now check me, 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 now check me. 24-7, 365, every day and every night. Do your homework, get it right, and keep your, and keep your, and keep your mind right, shorty. It'll be all right. <laughs> Man, in my lines, come up with your own stuff. Boy, don't nobody want your lies. You whack anyway, and your rapping is whack. So it looks like you ain't gonna make it in the pimping game nor the rapping game. <laughs> These are girls in this classroom don't like you. Boy, don't nobody like you. Your mama don't even like you. <laughs> now look here. Look here. You're not gonna run my class. But I tell you what. I tell you what you need to learn how to do is read and write. So let's just, just, just some chance you happen to make it in this here rapping game and your record does not go platinum, but instead it goes plastic. <laughs> you won't be broke. Oh, so what you're saying, I'm stupid, I'm dumb or something? Oh, boy, you spit on my face. Don't be doing that. <laughs> Look here. I ain't got to call you dumb or stupid. That's a rhetorical question. And plus, action speaks louder than words. So you do the math. Boy, you 15 years old, about to be 16, and still in the eighth grade. <laughs> now, I want you to plant your tail in that seat before I pray to God to give me the strength of Samson to tie that tail up. Oh, 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 I ain't scared to fight no teacher. We can hand this up at the school, shout Oh, oh, we ain't got to go outside. We ain't got to meet by the flag. And we ain't got to wait to end the school. You can get some of Peabody right you don't want none of this. You don't want none of this. Remember, please remember that I, little old wretch like me, 
shall not jack a child up up in the silk classroom. Amen. Hallelujah. in this room about five minutes ago. you say the same exact thing every single time that you come into my classroom. Uh. Well, I guess I see tomorrow. Unless, of course, you can think of a good reason why I won't see you tomorrow. Huh. Like, I got something to do with it. Why don't I just work here? Uh. Oh, okay. Well, I say that to all the teachers, and they never say anything back. So, I just to keep on coming up back. <laughs> yeah. Mom Pastor, um, exactly when do you plan to retire? Because I know you've been in this here school system for at least 50 years since Jimmy cracked corn, and he don't even care. <laughs> Wait a minute now. 50? <laughs> Did you say 50? <laughs> Uh, you, 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 you must think I'm some kind of a spring chicken. A cock a doo doo! A cock a doo doo! Ha I've been here longer than that. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't right say when I'm gonna retire. <sighs> I hope it's soon. Yeah, because being here helps me to stay young and helps me have my beautiful glowing face <laughs> and my pretty teeth. <laughs> so, and this mopping and the cleaning, it's my exercise and everything. Now, I don't know. I can't 
ain't right to say when I'm gonna retire. But I see you tomorrow. Unless of course you think I can think of a good reason why I won't see you tomorrow. <laughs> All right, mm. my pastor. Yes. Good night. All right, good night. Now I'ma sing this other song. You just might like this. Yeah, this is Tina Turner. I like that guy right there. Ah, yeah, I left a good job in the city. Ah, working nine to five every night and day. Yeah, I'm not a word, but ah, and I lost something on my mind. And whatever I'm gonna sing is gonna rhyme anyway. Ah, Oh no, uh-uh, I'm not having that there. Oh no, let me get my healing off. Uh-uh. Ooh, I got to cast these here evil spirits up out of here. Oh, I please the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. I said the blood of Jesus. Nah, 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 Principal Winslow, I'ma tell you something. I'ma need you not to come up in here in my classroom creeping up on me. <laughs> Cause what's gonna happen is, you gonna make me go deep down in my, in my knee highs, uh-huh. And the pull, I'm gonna make, we gonna, I'm gonna have to pull out my knife and I'm gonna have to cut you. And God knows I don't wanna have to cut you, cause then if I cut you, I'm gonna have to go to jail. And I don't wanna be on these folks' paper. Come on now. You better make yourself known when you come up in here. And exactly what were you doing, Miss Peabody? <laughs> exactly, uh, uh cause uh, uh what was I doing? Well, uh, uh oh. You caught me, Mr. Winslow. Mm -hmm. well, let me tell you a little bit of something here, boy. I don't want Mon Puster in my room. Cause oh. first of all, she's spooky, she's wicked, and she's ugly. <laughs> she comes in here every single day. Five minutes after Jack done cleaned my classroom. Uh, playing like she's a mopping and a sweeping and a mopping and a sweeping and singing all these weird songs that don't nobody understand. She don't know the words. That old raggedy, twisted up, kinked up wig, messing up my flow that's all clean and sparkly. She looking like a Tina Turner reject cross between with a uh, cutting it from the monsters. I don't want that woman in my classroom. I'm telling you now, I'm going to do somebody. Well, Miss Peabody, you know she's been off payroll for 10 years. She just enjoys coming here. I don't see any harm in her coming. She's lonely, and she likes talking with the teachers. But if it bothers you that much, I'll ask her to skip the classrooms on this hallway. Well, I'd show enough like that. But anyway. I came here to let you know Siobhan Greenwood's mother has agreed to come in for a parent-teacher conference tomorrow after school. You mean to tell me that that fast girl got five minutes to spend uh, talking about her child? Well, It'll yes. It'll be a first, I tell you that. Well, yes. Mm. We talked with her yesterday. And we told her about the incident with Siobhan in school and that she had to come in. Otherwise, he would be suspended or maybe even expelled for threatening a teacher. And I guess she didn't want him to be put out of another school. Well, I guess not. It's been about, what, four, what, about one, two, three, and four, Ms. five. And Mr. Biden, please, I can't count please hear her out. She's probably going through an awful lot, being a single mother, living on the road practically, singing, and trying to take care of a child like Siobhan. All righty then, Mr. Winslow. I promise you that I plan to get to the bottom of this here situation. And I want to find out exactly why that child is 
the way that he is. People are products of their own environment. Okay, that's Peabody. But remember, we had this discussion. This needs to be a productive conference. Both you and Ms. Jennings need to come out of this meeting feeling as though you've accomplished something as far as this child is concerned. All right, Mr. Winslow. <laughs> well, I so thank you for telling me about this here meeting. I show sure no looks forward to it. I do, yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, Miss Peabody. You have a nice day. Excuse me, Mr. Winslow. You have a nice day. <laughs> Thank you for telling me about the conference, Mr. Winslow. <laughs> Bye. Jay Jennings, Siobhan Greenwood, Mama. My love, look at him. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Miss Jenkins, to have to meet you under these uh, circumstances. Jennings? I'm sorry, I ain't uh -huh. very good with names. I'm sorry to have to meet you under these here circumstances, but please do have a seat. Uh, no thanks. I got a plane to catch. What? I told you I'm talking to Siobhan, teacher. Call me back. Bye. Oh. Oh, uh, Strong J. Uh, Star J. Oh, uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh, would you please refrain from talking on your talk box in my classroom? Since it is apparent that you only have a couple of minutes which you can speak. I'd really appreciate it. Right. Anyways, Siobhan told me you called him dumb and stupid in front of all the kids in class. Hush your mouth! Uh-huh, and when he called you out on it, you tried to fight him for it. And then what? He backed down because he didn't want to get suspended. And then what? So now I'm here because they said if I didn't come, he would get suspended. <laughs> now you look, Miss Jenkins. Mm. This here is my classroom. And if your child and another child can't abide by the rules set forth in this here classroom, they will suffer the consequences. Now, although I was wrong mm -hmm. for wanting to even retaliate, but Siobhan is a child, and a child should always remain in a child's place. Amen. And I don't care how mad anybody makes him. He should never even think about wanting to put his hands on an adult. Look, Miss Lady, if you oh, want- you look, the mm. name is Claudine Peabody. That's P to the E to the A to the B to the O to the D to the Y, baby. <laughs> look, if you don't want children trying to fight you, then don't be instigating nothing. Now you look. I didn't agree to meet with you for no other reason than to help you come up with a solution to make your child a better student. The incident that happened between Siobhan and me the other day is the least of your problems, baby. Oh, really? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. You come up in here in a rush like you only got five minutes to discuss a serious matter, as if him getting expelled has nothing to do with it. You come in here, you start, child, you skirt. <laughs> Nowhere near your knees, and you expect for me to take you serious. Look at me, like you getting ready. Look, coming here, looking like you getting ready to go on stage with our uh, Bianca. Bianca. Yeah, you heard me. I said Bianca. 
Who's Bianca? Don't, don't, don't get smart me, girl. You know who Bianca is, that gal that uh, be talking to all them uh, gals, uh, saying, uh, talking about that, uh, all the singer ladies and uh, uh, all the, the men, if you want her, then you, 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 you uh, put a ring on her. You know how y'all need to be getting together and stuff? Get, yeah, that, that, uh, that girl. You mean Beyonce. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they call her. But I call her Bianca. Mm. What? Uh oh. <laughs> now, take a seat. <sighs> oh, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Nam Young Horinge Kyo 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 Hallelujah thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Now let's do this here Let's do this we're not going to yell anymore. We're going to talk to each other like young adults and sassy like myself should. First of all, when you're out of town, who does Siobhan stay with? Why? What's that got to do with your classroom? <laughs> it has a lot to do with it. Your child doesn't turn in homework. And when he does, <laughs> it ain't even completed. <laughs> he don't finish it. So, who's the neighbor he stays with? I need to make sure they do, he does and completes his homework. And takes some type of interest in his education. Is that possible? Well, he stay with my friend. Friend, huh? Uh-huh. Well, could he stay with you? A relative, I mean a relative that might take more interest in his academics? Well, he could stay with my mama. I just get so tired of her running her mouth talking about I need to get off the road and take care of him. Oh, I can't deal with that. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. Mm. I'm sorry. But right now, you need to do Whatever it is that is best for that child. And he needs to stay with someone that can take more concern with his academics. I want this child to move on after eighth grade. I'm tired of him taking up these seats. I mean, is it, can, it, can he, I mean, you think if your mama let him stay with you, I mean, she'll take more concern? I mean, do you think this can be, you, you think this can be done? Okay. So what I'm going to do, if you can do these things that I ask, I will ask Mr. Winslow to not have Siobhan expel. Expel? I thought he was just getting suspended. No, Mia, not yelling. You're not <sighs> yelling. Okay? <laughs> Obviously, like other things, you didn't get that memo either. <laughs> no, sweetheart, not just suspended. But suspended and maybe even expelled. And I have a couple more requests. Okay, shoot. No, ma'am. <laughs> I mean, okay, Miss Peabody, what are they? Thank you, ma'am. Mm. Okay, you must speak with him about the incident that occurred with him and myself, and he must apologize to me and the classroom. Oh, and by the way, where did he get this mess from about he can't say God or the Pledge of Allegiance because it's against his beliefs? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, out of the blue, the other day, uh -huh. out of all these months of saying the Pledge of Allegiance, Siobhan said he couldn't say the pledge because it was against his beliefs. He said that he wasn't going to say God in the classroom. We 
he get that from? I don't know where he got that from. I guess TV or something. He didn't get it from me. Matter of fact, my auntie and them be taking him to church sometimes. Oh, do? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, obviously, when they taking the church, he's on his iPod or texting somebody because he sure ain't listening. <sighs> now, the other thing I want you to discuss with him is, since he's so far behind, he needs to play catch up. And under the No Child Left Behind Act, Siobhan should be eligible for one of these tutoring sessions for free. I will give you some names and I will give you some numbers for people that you can call to enroll him. And I expect for him to be enrolled next week, by the end of next week. And by you agreeing to adhere to these terms, I will ask Principal Winslow not to suspend Siobhan. <sighs> okay, I think I got it. I can't take Siobhan over my mama's house tonight, but when I get back, I will talk to her about it. And I'll call Siobhan tonight about apologizing, and I'll make those calls about getting him tutored too. Super! <coughs> well, thank you so much for coming, Miss Strong, I mean Star J <laughs> Jennings. And I will give you, where did I put my, okay, here you go. Here are your numbers, there's the packet, I want you to get them enrolled. And you be safe out there. And thank you for coming to see me about your son. Uh, okay, I gotta, All right. I gotta go. All right, mm -hmm. baby, you be careful out there. Find you a longer skirt. <laughs> All right, and you make sure you tell Bianca, I said, hey, girl, how you doing? Okay. <laughs> All right. And tell I said, whoa, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Miss Peabody. Peabody. Give me Peabody. I had to go to the railroad, pick up my late pass. Well, boy, it look like it's still on the toilet. But boy, your darn pants up. Coming in here looking musty and stinking. <laughs> don't you ever come in my classroom again with your pants sagging like that. I don't care about no style, what's in or what's out. Your britches better be pulled up on you. Cause if I see your tail and them dusty drawers again, I'm calling the cops. And you're going to jail, or juvie for you. Now take your tail over and sit down. And suck your teeth at me again, boy. You won't have none. <laughs> yes, Siobhan? I have something that I want to say. OK. Go right ahead. Oh, my God. <sighs> Y'all stop picking. Hold your head up, baby. Stand up straight like a man. It's going to be all right. Well, I just want to say that um, I'm sorry for what happened on Tuesday, and um, I'm saying sorry to you and the whole class. Well, my God. I, uh, oh my God. <laughs> Siobhan, I accept your apology, and I'm sure that the class does too. Right, class? Yes, Miss Peabody. Let's all stand for the pledge. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
So that wasn't no surprise, but overall, I love it. What about you? I love it. It was full of laughs, got to some issues, and just was a good time. I think it was a very good play. She did really good. They all did good, and it was really funny. It's the green, and honey, it was awesome. I would pay to see this again. It was wonderful. Y'all bring it back to America, Georgia again. My name is Amy Pry, and I really enjoyed the play. All the actors were wonderful, especially Miss Peabody, my friend. Come by Final Face. Don Bry. Good, because you know to have someone come back home who actually going to produce and uh, run the play. Everything is nice, stuff. Really enjoyed it. It, and she was just awesome and I hope this is not her last show. I hope she take it as far as she can because we truly enjoyed it and the kids needed that. So I, I had a wonderful time and I will come and see the next one. A1, A1. I know uh, Monika, she did A1. The play with Miss Peabody, Miss, Miss Peabody, I, I enjoyed it. I really did. Very good. Monica Lusane grew up with Malika. She did very good. The play was good. It enjoyed. Thank you. I enjoyed the play. It was, it was a very good play. I'm going to educate myself. And Mrs. Peabody, she says a lot of things I would like to say to the children. I right. Great job. It was great, great. No, the play was awesome. Make sure you pick up that DVD. Whenever you see it, check it out on MySpace. I think it's on the um, www. Uh, Facebook.com slash Mrs. Peabody. So check it out. She has the trailers on there. It was an awesome performance tonight. America's need that. Thank you. So you can say when she wild, man. Check this out. You must guide me. So confused, so confused. With somebody that you used to know. Uh, Cause when I'm trying to yeah, talk with you, talk with you, your response is super rude. You about to be lonely, I'm telling you. Oh. 